How come you're not dressed yet? Nelson Sullivan's waiting for us. What for? The cocktail party, of course. Oh, shoot. 
I completely forgot. Hurry up and don't forget your book. Nelson wanted to have a look at it. I'm coming. I'll just be a sec. Dear friends, we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the launch of a new line of cosmetics that will undoubtedly allow us to increase our stakehold in the under-25 market. Eclat Ardent, as it is known, is a revolution in the world of teenage cosmetics. We owe this success to Kim Doherty, the director of our cosmetics department. I would very much like to congratulate her here today. Thank you, thank you. I'm very flattered. Look at Scott Sullivan. He looks as if he's sulking. I told you those two don't get along. Good evening. You're not... Steve Anderson, yes. Do I know you? No, I'm sure you don't. I'm just starting a work placement at Style Factory. But I've seen all your films. You're a great actor. I loved you and I'll be dead tomorrow. Thanks. That's sweet of you to say so. Nikos Amadeus is just jealous. He said I stole the limelight from him, even though I only had a supporting role in the film. It must be amazing to be an actor. It's tiring, too. People don't realize how exhausting fame can be. All that signature signing, the celebrity parties and the high society dinners, not to mention all those girls chasing around after you. Sometimes I fantasize about being just another face in the crowd. But let's talk about you. Not yet. I'm just on a placement. It's a start. Well, if you ever need any advice or helpful tips, I'll leave you my cell phone number. Don't think twice about calling me. Thanks. It's really kind of you. So, Clara, chatting up my boyfriend now, are you? Your boyfriend? Yes. Steve and I have been engaged for two months now. You see, sweetie, fashion design is the path to happiness. Wow! Steve, will you leave my friend alone? She just got here and you're already all over her. But she was the one who came up to me. Okay, I'll let you off this time. Good evening, Clara. How nice to see you again. Well, it would seem your work placement has got off to a good start. Yes, I'm really pleased about it. The launch of the new cosmetics collection will generate a lot of work for everyone. Now's your chance to show what you're made of. I hope I'm good enough. Of course you are. I don't doubt it for one minute. Mr. McAllister, may I ask you a question? Fire away, Clara. What's Scott Sullivan's relationship with his father like? They don't seem to get along very well. Yes, things are a bit tense between them. Nelson has a very open and generous nature that clashes with his son's more introverted personality. And Kim's presence doesn't help matters. Scott hates her. That can't be easy on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to know that so you don't go and put your foot in it. But don't pay too much attention to the rumors going around. The main thing is your work. That's where you need to focus your attentions. Thanks for the advice, Mr. McAllister. I'll remember that. By the way, here's my cell phone number. If you need anything... That's really kind of you. It's amazing, Carol. Ever since I arrived at Sullivan Style Factory, I feel like any minute now I'm going to wake up. And just look at the dresses, the dinner jackets, the jewelry. It's all so beautiful. Nelson Sullivan is a born show-off. It's just the way he is. When he organizes an event like this, he doesn't cut corners. But I must admit that the thrill of it soon wears off. I'm fed up with eating caviar and listening to the same old tunes. Hey, you wouldn't want to do me a favor, would you? What? Change the record. The stereo's just over there. I'd be 
feel like something a bit more romantic. Are you sure I'm allowed? Of course, no one will notice. And if you choose a song I like, I'll let you in on the latest Style Factory gossip. Well, if there's a reward thrown in. By the way, while I remember, here's my cell phone number. It might come in handy. Thanks, I appreciate it. What song shall I put on? So, what track shall I put on? Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Let's hope it's good. Thanks, Clara. That's exactly the type of music I felt like. You're welcome. True to my word, I promise to let you in on a secret. Well, here it is. Do you know what the rumor going around Style Factory is? No, I'm all ears. You probably know that Nelson Sullivan's first wife, Jessica Wooden, died in a car accident. Or at least that's how the story goes. Well, the rumor is that actually she was murdered. No way. Does Nelson know? I don't think so. And remember, not a word of this to anyone. It could cost me my job. No worries, Carol. You can count on me. Hello, Clara. So, are you happy to be here? Very happy, Mrs. Doherty. Please, call me Kim. We're all on first name terms here. I'll remember that. Really? Where has that waiter gone to? Our glasses are empty. I can go to the bar for you, if you like. Would you do that? Thank you, Clara. That's really sweet of you. I'd like a pineapple juice. Nelson, what would you like? How about you, Scott? A raspberry juice for me. And a kiwi juice for me. So that's a pineapple juice for you, a raspberry juice for Mr. Nelson, and a kiwi juice for Scott. I'll be right back. Thank you, Clara. It's very kind of you. At least we know we can rely on you, and that's an invaluable quality in our world. There's very few people who you can really trust, you know. All I did was get you a drink. That's irrelevant. 
I've got enough experience to tell from the offset if I can trust someone. That's how I hire my staff, by gut instinct. Believe me, it's the only way. I'm sure you're right, Kim. Trust me, I've got plenty of experience. Well, have a good evening, Clara. Enjoy yourself. Uh, thanks. What? No ice? Kiwi juice is supposed to be served chilled. I'm sorry, Mr. Sullivan. I can go and get you some, if you like. No, this will do. Anyway, I'm not thirsty anymore. You must think I'm a bit strange, huh? No, Mr. Sullivan. A lot of my friends are artists. And artists are all prima donnas. Yes, I know what people say. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My mother died just over two years ago. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It completely turned my world on end. Nothing's how it used to be. I don't know if you can understand what I mean, but I just seem to have lost all interest in life. That must be terrible. But I can see I'm boring you. No, not at all, I... Anyway, good night. I should never have told you that. What an unusual guy. Thank you, Clara. You've been very helpful. I'm sure we're going to get along famously. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. At Style Factory, we aim to give everyone the role they're most suited to. Being able to match tasks to skills, that's the secret of our success. I'm still a student, Mr. Sullivan. I haven't got a huge amount of work experience. Have you tried your hand at designing? Oh, yes. I've been designing clothes all my life. I've been making dresses for my older sister since I was six. Well, if you like, I'll show you my book. Some of my designs are quite good. That's a good idea. Come and show me your book when you get a moment. Let's have a look. Hmm, not bad. I need to have a better look at this. Who knows, perhaps we could use some of your designs in our next collection. That would be an honor, sir. A real honor.